I was having a conversation with someone who achieved greatness when he was younger. He recounted how he lived a luxurious lifetime then. Unfortunately, he is retired now and he has nothing to show for it. You see, what really matters is not how much you currently earn or make, but how you are able to sustain your lifestyle and support your family and yourself in the future. With financial education, you are not only able to make more money or create more money, but you're able to keep that money, grow it, and build wealth that you can pass on from one generation to the other. I am Dr. Charity Ezemwa Onako, and our discussion for today will focus on three strategies you need to continuously build wealth and move from income depletion to income replenishment. So join me. So we are continuing the discussion on the Agalex strategy. In the previous lesson, we discussed the starter steps that help you kickstart that journey to building wealth. In this lesson, we are focusing on the backbone steps that help you move from income depletion to income replenishment. These steps also help you to build wealth that continuously flow over time. So the Agalek part two is what I call the backbone steps. These are the sustaining steps and they include financial literacy, evaluation, and consistency. These steps, like I said before, are the sustaining steps and so they do not need to be taken in chronological order. You can take either of them at any point, at any time in the process. They are needed to be taken as long as you continue to build wealth, as long as you're taking action, as long as you are you are doing what you're doing to improve your finances. You need these three steps at every point in time. So the backbone step number one is financial literacy. This means to become financially literate. So as you're building wealth, as you're taking action, as you're setting goals, as you are in this journey to financial freedom or wellness, you are continuously making financial decisions. You are continuously making choices. And it is important that you make decisions or you make choices that do not jeopardize your goals. So become aware of financial matters. Become knowledgeable about personal finance matters. Take some time and educate yourself. So this education, this financial literacy helps you to become informed, helps you to make informed financial decisions. That means your decisions will no longer be based on emotions. Your decisions will no longer be based on what everybody is doing. You are making your decision based on facts, based on the information that you have, based on the knowledge and the skills that you have. So you can walk into financial institution, any provider of financial services and request for their products and assess them. Look at the various options available to you and you make that choice because you are financially literate, because you have that information, you are informed. So you are, if your decisions you're making at that point is an informed decision and you are able to reduce your risk significantly if you are financially literate. Because you are not able to know the risk inherent in every decision you make. You're able to access, you're able to weigh the options. You're able to weigh the pros and cons. And then you make the decision that best meets your needs. So by all means, educate yourself. Become aware, become knowledgeable in, in personal finance matters. So how are you going to do that? Take classes, attend financial workshops, attend seminars, read books, listen to financial news. And by all means, follow WealthyGen. WealthyGen provides quality financial education at your fingertips. Like you're listening now, our weekly well a video cast comes to you with quality financial education that you need to make important financial decisions. So if you are not already following WealthyGen, our website is www.wealthygen.com. All these lessons are in there. And by all means, get social with us we are on facebook twitter linkedin youtube search for wealthy gen and you will see us there if you're on instagram follow us at wealthy gen one and this is how you know that you are on the right page so again just to recap the start the backbone step number one is to become financially literate this leads to our next backbone step which is evaluation evaluate your financial goals and actions as you're getting yourself educated on personal finance matters, you're learning how to make money, keep that money and grow it. 
all this knowledge, all this information are new information to you. So evaluate your goals and actions based on this new information. Things may have changed. So evaluate your actions and goals. And as you do that, ask yourself these questions. Are your goals still attainable? Are your actions still aligned with your goals? These are the questions you should ask so that you can you may find out something that will lead you to actually changing those goals. You might find something that, that will make you to look at your actions once again and see if it is worth taking. And after this evaluation, make changes when necessary. That is the essence of evaluation. Evaluate, implement, improve, evaluate, improve, implement. You continuously evaluate what you're doing. Check your results. See if your results are what you expected. See if there's something you need to do to improve your performance. You can only check that or do that if you have evaluated what you're doing to see if it's if you are actually on the track or on track to meeting your goals. So by all means, evaluate, 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 and make changes when necessary. Backbone step number three is consistency. Consistency is the key to building wealth. It is the key to success. It is the key to everything that you want to achieve. Consistency is the key. It is an important element, one of the most important elements of financial wellness. So stay committed and consistent in whatever you're doing. If you're saving, stay consistent. If you're investing, stay consistent. Remember, financial wellness is a continuous process. Wealth building is a continuous process. There is no point or there's no place where you will reach, someone will reach and say that they have achieved it or that they have arrived or that they have done it all and therefore they will stop. When you stop, your wealth will stop flowing. And when your wealth stops flowing, your income will continuously deplete. Remember, our goal is to move from income depletion to income replenishment. The person I was having a conversation with achieved greatness when he was younger. But now he's retired. He has nothing to show for it. Maybe some, uh, so at some point in his life, he stopped that thing that he was doing. He stopped being consistent. It is that consistency that ensures that your income or your wealth continuously flow. So do not derail. Stay on track. From your evaluation, you must have seen something that works. Repeat what works. Repeat what works and continuously do that thing that will ensure that your income continuously flow. Continue saving. Save, save, save. By all means, save, save, save. I will continue to say that. And invest, invest, invest. Investment is the key. It is that investment that you will fall back on when you are retired. It is your investment that you will fall back on when you are no longer able to work or pursue all those uh, engagements that you're pursuing right now. So by all means, remain consistent. Do not derail and stay on track. It is one major key to success. It is one major key to wealth building. It is one major key to sustainable wealth. So just to recap, our Agalex strategy includes the starter steps and the backbone steps. In our previous lesson, we discussed the starter steps. And I will go ahead and put the link to the lesson, the starter steps lesson. So if you haven't watched it, go ahead and follow the link and watch. It is very important. It is the strat strategy or the steps that help you to kickstart that journey to wealth building. This lesson talked about the backbone steps. The steps that help you to move from income depletion to income replenishment. And the steps that help you to ensure that your wealth continuously flows. So thank you for listening and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you.